Hi, Trench with RacesForDinner.com. I was just working on this iPod. A uh, customer brought it to me and said that it just stopped working. Her kids were playing with it. They brought it to her and said, Mom, this isn't working anymore. And she didn't know why. And so I opened it up. I tested the original battery, which is right here. And reading the voltage on the leads, uh, the voltmeter indicated zero. So it tells me that the battery that should be 3.7 volts or somewhere near there um, was completely dead, uh, which further leads me to believe that either the iPod was left um, on the shelf for quite a long time until the battery had completely drained or something is short-circuiting the battery. And it seems that that's the case. But first, also look at this loudspeaker, and you can see somebody has severed the two wires that connect it to the logic board here and here. And uh, so this iPod had been opened before. Not sure who cut the speaker wires or why, and also not sure what else is going on with this iPad, iPod, excuse me, other than what the customer told me, which often isn't always the full story. So if we take this um, infrared thermometer, we can see that the desktop here is about 74, 75 degrees, which makes sense because that's the temperature of the room. And if we come over to the iPod, then I just changed the battery in. The battery itself is reading about 85 degrees, but if we move up to the logic board, we're up to 150 degrees in some areas. So that tells me that something in this area is short-circuiting such that it is generating a lot of heat. It's pulling a lot of current from the battery, and that is not going anywhere. It's just uh, building up heat in this area of the logic board. So either on this side, one of these tiny surface mount components is burned out or on the other side of the logic board there's a shield uh, that covers some more components including some uh, microchips and such so something is burned out on this ipod normally i wouldn't uh, leave this battery connected but i wanted to hurry and shoot this video and then i'm going to desolder it so that it doesn't continue to short out and hurt the ipod and this is a can of freeze spray and we're going to freeze the logic board up here where it's generating all the heat. Normally I would remove the cameras and not freeze those. Um, but in this case, I have some replacement cameras. So if I'm able to get this iPod restored and the camera no longer functions because I just froze it, then I'll replace it with another one. You can see the free spray is melting first right here, which is interesting because this is the area that generated the most heat according to the thermometer, around 140 to 150 degrees here, but only 130 over there. And if we were looking at this underneath this microscope while frozen, then we could potentially isolate what component is... Um, short it out by looking at it to see where the free spray melts first but in this iPod's case I need to remove the logic board and the shield from the backside here and see what see what it looks like under there I suspect this iPod has been dropped in water and uh, unfortunately something on it is burned out so we're gonna Take it apart and see if we can't figure it out. Thanks for watching. This is Trent, RicesForDinner.com.